In our previous videos, we have seen sets, relations, and functions. But this video, we are going to see graphing functions using transformations. There are three types of transformations we are going to discuss. The first one is reflection. Second one is translation. And the third one is dilation. There are three types of transformation. The first one is reflection. What is reflection? Reflection, we are going to see three things. One is reflection on x-axis. What is reflection on x-axis? Say this is x-axis. Suppose if we have a curve like this, another one is like this. Reflection on x-axis. Then reflection on y-axis we are going to see. Reflection on y-axis. For y-axis, whatever you have, the same shape here. Reflection on y-axis. And one more thing, reflection on the line y equal to x. Then this is the line y equal to x. Uh, reflection on the line y equal to x, whatever you have. So these are the three things we are going to see. Reflection on x-axis, reflection on y-axis, and reflection on the line y equal to x. We are going to see that in detail. Then second transformation is translation. Translation means the shift. The curve, shift, C units are three units to the right, three units to the left, are three units above, are three units below, whatever it is. So we are going to... These two cases, the shape and size remain same. In reflection and translation, the congruency preserves. The shape and size remains. So only the position changes. It moves to the right or left or above or below, or it is a mirror image, something like that. But in the case of uh, dilation, the graph shrinks or it expands. Okay, so this is what we are going to see. There are three types of transformations, reflection, translation, and dilation. We are going to see that one by one in detail. The first one is reflection. The first transformation is reflection. You take a function fx. I said there are three types of reflections. Reflection on x-axis. When we say the curve reflects on x-axis, suppose minus fx. y equal to fx is the function. Minus fx is the reflection on x-axis. Reflection about x-axis. The reflection of f of x on x-axis. That is the mirror image. For example, if I take a curve like this, what is its reflection on x-axis? It will be like this. Okay, so this is, you know, y square equal to x. y square equal to x. Or you say y is equal to root x. y is equal to root x. And this will be y equal to minus root x. This is fx, this is minus fx, and this is reflection on x-axis. So what is reflection on f f on x-axis? Minus fx is reflection on x-axis. Now let us see reflection on y-axis. f of minus x, f of x is the given curve, f of x is the given curve, f of minus x is reflection on y-axis. For x-axis, the minus should come outside. Minus fx, that is reflection on x-axis. f of minus x is reflection on y-axis. And the third one is reflection on the line y equal to x. It is f inverse x. f of x is the given function. f of x is the given function. f inverse x represents a reflection on the line y equal to x. So that is the first transformation, reflection. And the second one is translation. So translation is a very simple thing, just the curve moves. So f of x is the given curve, f of x plus c, c units to the left. Shift the curve, c units to the left. For example, say this is the curve. You know this is x square equal to y. This curve is x square is equal to y, or y is equal to x square. y equal to x square is the curve. Suppose you find f of r y is equal to y is equal to x minus 2 the whole square or x plus 2 the whole square. Shift 2 units to the left. Shift 2 units to the left. 1, 2. The curve will be here. Suppose you take y is equal to x minus 3 the whole square. Shift 3 units to the right. The curve is here. 3 units to the right. 1, 2, 3. The curve comes here. So remember f of x is the given curve, f of x plus c means, just opposite, if plus means you move to the left, c units to the left, that is for f of x plus c. Then f of x minus c, just opposite I said, if minus means move to the right, 
C units move to the right. And the next one is f of x plus c. So understand the difference between f of x plus c and f of x plus c. Here c units above, upward, c units upward. Here plus means upward only. This is f of x plus c and the last one f of x minus c, c units downward. Okay, c units downward. So this is translation. There are four types we studied. Moving right side, left side, upward and downward. Suppose f of x is the given function. f of x minus 2 means 2 units to the right. f of x plus 2 means 2 units to the left. f of x plus 2 means 2 units above, up, 2 units upward. And f of x minus 2 means 2 units downward. Okay, so that's all about translation. And the last one is dilation. Dilation, the first two cases, the congruency, the shape and size remain same. But here, the curve changes. It expands or it shrinks. So, f of x is the given curve. We are multiplying the curve function by c. We are multiplying by c. It depends on c value, whether it moves towards x-axis or moving away from x-axis. Suppose this is the curve. I am taking say modulus x. Modulus x, you know this is the curve, right? Modulus x. Suppose I am multiplying by a number which is more than 1. Multiplying by a number more than 1, then the, it moves away from x-axis. It moves away from x-axis. Suppose if I find 5 into modulus x, it will be very closer to y-axis, moving away from x-axis. The curve will come something like this. So this gap will increase. At the same time, if I multiply by a number which is less than 1, not negative, between 0 and 1, I am multiplying, say, half x, half into modulus x. You know, modulus x, the curve is like this, modulus x. If I multiply by half, this gap will be reduced. That means the curve moves towards x-axis. The curve will be something like this. If I multiply by 0 0.0, 0 or 0 0.01 modulus x, it will be very close to x-axis. The curve will be like that. It is moving towards x-axis. So, if you multiply by a constant, it moves away from x-axis or moving closer to x-axis depends on c value. When c value is more than 1, it moves away from x-axis. That is very closer to y-axis. If the c is less than 1, if it lies between 0 and 1, it moves towards x-axis. Okay? And same thing, instead of c in the fx, f into cx. Here also, when c is more than 1, it moves towards y-axis, that is away from x-axis. Suppose that c lies between 0 and 1, moves away from y-axis, moves away from y-axis means it is very closer to x-axis. So these are the three types of uh, transformations, reflections, translation and dilation using this. Now we are going to see some of the graphs. First, we are going to start with a familiar curve. Modulus x, you know how to, what is modulus x? See, this is modulus x, right? Modulus x. Now, suppose if I want modulus x minus 1, modulus x, you know, I want modulus x minus 1. What happens here? f of x minus c type, right? So, there will be a shift. It comes under translation. One unit, I said that opposite one. Minus means it moves to the right. One unit to the right. One unit to the right means the same curve will move one unit here, right? So the curve will be like that. See that? It will be like this. Modulus x is this one. Modulus x minus modulus of x minus 1 means one it shift one unit to the right. This is this one. Suppose I want modulus x minus 1 we have now plus 1. This is of the type f of x plus 1. f of x plus 1 means 1 unit above. 1 unit above means the curve has to go. This is 2. 1 unit above. It has to come here. It has to come like this, right? See? Yes, this is modulus x minus 1 plus 1. Suppose I want the curve modulus x plus 1 minus 1. Directly you cannot draw. So you start from the familiar curve. You know the curve of modulus x, right? You know the curve of modulus x. What is modulus x? Yes, this is modulus x. Modulus x plus 1 means 
See, you know what is modulus x? This is modulus x, right? Modulus x. Modulus x plus 1 means 1 unit to, unit to the left. So it will be coming here, right? 1 unit to the left. Now modulus x plus 1, you know, minus 1 means move 1 unit to the 1 unit downward, right? It will come here. So that should be the diagram for modulus x plus 1 minus 1. Modulus x plus 1 minus 1. Now, this is another graph. This is for, can you find out this is the graph of what? It comes here. Anyhow, it is modulus x. Two units to the left side. Two units to the left side. So, it should be plus 2. Modulus x plus 2. Then, here, this is minus 2, minus 3. Three units downward, so minus 3. So, this will be the uh, equation of this graph. Okay. So, but they will be asking you to draw the curve, this one. So modulus x plus 2 minus 3. So you from the familiar one you start. First modulus x, right? Modulus x means you know modulus x is this curve. This is modulus x plus 2, 2 units to the left side. So it will come here. 0, minus 1, minus 2, 2 units to the left side. It will be here. Now minus 3 means 3 units downward, okay? So you will be getting this curve. This is a familiar curve, you know. This is y equal to x square. y equal to x square is this curve y equal to x square. Now let us see, what is x minus 1 the whole square? x minus 1 the whole square. This is of the type x square only. But x minus 1 the whole square means you have to shift one unit to the right. Because it is minus 1, you have to shift one unit to the right. When you shift one unit to the right, the curve will move one unit here. So it will be something like this. Okay, see that curve? Yes, this is the curve. It shift one unit to the right. Now, same thing if I multiply by a number 3, dilation. Suppose x minus 1, the whole square is this curve. We multiply by a number 3. Already we, we have seen, if I multiply by a number, either the curve moves away from x-axis or move closer to x-axis, right? So remember like this, you see this gap, easy to remember. Suppose you multiply by a bigger number, that is you multiply by a number more than 1, this gap will increase. When you multiply by a bigger number, the gap will increase. That means it, the curve moves like this, right? It moves away from x-axis. Suppose you multiply by a number which is less than 1, it's a very small number, so this gap will be decreased. The gap will be decreased means the curve will come like this. This, that means the curve moves very closer to x-axis. But here we are multiplying by 3 more than 1, so the gap must increase. That is, the curve moves away from x-axis, so it goes closer like this, okay? Moving away from x-axis. See the graph? Yes, this is 3 into x minus 1, the whole square. Suppose 3 into x minus 1, the whole square is this. Suppose I'm adding 5. If it is plus 5, you know, shift 5 unit above. Shift 5 unit above. So, this curve will go 5 unit, same shape. It will go 5 unit above, right? So, this will be the curve. 0 is here, so it, 5 is here, okay? 4 and 6, 5 will be here. So, so, the question will be like this. Draw the graph of this one. You cannot draw this directly. Step by step, you have to do you start from the familiar curve. This is of the type x square. So you draw the graph for x square. Then x minus 1 the whole square. x minus 1 the whole square. Shift 1 unit to the right. Then multiply by 3. That means it moves away from x axis. Then plus 5. 5 units above. So, okay. Like that you will get the curve very easily. Now let us see another type of graph. Already we have seen modulus x. Now y equal to x square, now another one y equal to x. You know, this is the line y equal to x. y equal to minus x means, you know, it is a reflection, it will be like this. y equal to x is this one, this is y equal to plus x. y equal to minus x means it will come like this, it is a reflection. And y equal to 2x, you know, y equal to x is this curve, right? y equal to x is this curve, this is y equal to x. y equal to, now I want 2x, this is y equal to x y equal to 2x means you are multiplying by 2, the number which is more than 1. You know, if you multiply by number more than 1, the gap will increase. The gap will increase means it moves away from it. So it will come in like this something like that, right? Yes, this is 2x. Now we see 
x plus 1. x plus 1. You know what is x, you know? x is like this, y equal x is like this. Plus 1, so 1 unit above, okay? 1 unit above, it moves like that. If I want half x, if I want half x, you are multiplying by a half, that is less than 1, closer to x axis. y equal x is something like this, now it's closer, this gap will be decreased. Then half x plus 1 means this is half x plus 1, 1 unit above, it moves 1 unit, okay? Like that you can do that. Now we see one more type graph, uh, y equal to x cube, y equal to x cube, you know what is y equal to x cube? The graph like this, this is y equal to x cube. So this is the curve y equal to x cube, y equal to x cube. Then what is minus x cube? It is a reflection, y equal to x cube, minus x cube means it is a reflection. This is, this curve is y equal to x cube, y equal to minus x cube means it is the reflection of x cube. Then if I want x cube plus 1, suppose, suppose I want x cube plus 1, how the graph will be? This is y equal to x cube, y equal to x cube is this curve. Now x cube plus 1 means 1 unit above, 1 unit above means the curve will move 1 unit above. So okay, it will go like this. So this is 0, y equal to x cube is along this 0. Now x cube plus 1, it moves 1 unit above. So the graph you will be getting like this. x cube minus 1 means x cube minus 1, 1 unit below, right? It goes like this, 1 unit below. This is the graph you are getting. Suppose I want x plus 1 the whole cube, x plus 1 the whole cube. Start from the familiar one. You know x cube. You know what is x cube? This is x cube x, now we want x plus 1 the whole cube, x plus 1, x plus 1 the whole cube means 1 unit to the left, 1 unit to the left, so the graph will be like this, so minus 1 is here, so the graph will be like this. Hope you understood this, that's all, graphing using three transformations we have seen, uh, hope you understood all these things, so in the next video we will see MCQs from set relations and functions. Subscribe our channel so you will get all our upcoming videos. Thanks for watching.